Hello and welcome to the final exciting installment of GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo Wii. Last time we infiltrated Trevelyan's solar facility and planted some bombs on his cooling tanks before allowing ourselves to be captured to meet the two-faced drumming god himself. This is a take two because this level is resoundingly difficult on Double O Classic and I didn't feel like... I didn't like my shy performance the first time through. Our one objective for this mission is to defend Natalia and just seeing those two words together like that just sends a chill right down my spine. Target alignment at 60%. Hello, James. You're just in time to watch. You've given me the perfect fall guy. We're going to use her fingerprint on the golden eye control to detonate the weapon. Get her in the chair. Interesting setup, Alec. You hack into the banks, transfer the money electronically, and erase your tracks with an EMP blast. It's not just the banks, James. It's everything the bank has touched. The stock market, financial records, every transaction on every computer in London, all gone in less than four minutes. It's nothing but a high-tech bank robbery. Give me a cell phone. What is it? Press this key to disarm the explosives? Or did you reprogram the buttons? How well do you know me, Alec? Press it, and find out. You lose, James. Use her finger to activate the weapon. Focus the mirrors and send a signal. When will the satellite be over London? Three minutes, fifteen seconds. Excellent. Hack into the banks and begin transferring the money. Can you deorbit the satellite? Uh, yes, but it's going to take some time. Do your best. I'll keep you covered. Now right off the bat, you'll want to turn left, and right over behind this console is some body armor. You are desperately going to need that. So who remembers in GoldenEye for the N64 that one mission where you have to defend Natalia from just about everybody? Now guess what section they absolutely had to put into this game. Cover me, I need more time! Ugh. This, this section is basically just a laugh a minute, really. Oh, it's so much fun, and there's gonna be so many people to kill, and everybody's gonna be shooting at you. Actually, a lot of people are gonna be shooting at Natalia, and she can actually take quite a hit. But still, especially on Double O Agent, or Double Classic, you only have two life bars. And if one of them... If you lose one of them too quickly, it starts to burn into the second one, and... That second one can't ever recover, and it's just a mess. You gotta be some kind of god, basically, to get through here without too much damage. After you kill a lot of people, Natalia will switch consoles, as she is doing right now. There are three consoles. The second one is right here. And as soon as she gets to another one, everybody's gonna start invading once again, and you have to start killing, well, everybody. Cover me, I need you always want to pay attention to your radar, because they will always... It's pretty much your best friend. It tells you where everybody is every, at uh, all times. And that kind of knowledge really comes in handy here. Auto-aim though kind of sucks because it's going to prefer to shoot things like uh, fire extinguishers or, or uh, electronic panels. Things that can cause area damage against the other guys. And it really throws your aim off. Anyway, this one run is actually going pretty well. I'm fairly surprised with myself. This third section is probably the easiest because of what I'm just doing right here. If you just stay next to Natalia and just gun down everybody coming down these three hallways towards you, well, one walkway and two, one platform, whatever. And thanks a lot, Auto Lame. But this section is probably the easiest. 
The thing is, though, and you're not going to see this in this run, but if you take too long, a huge advancing wall of fire from the very back of the room starts coming towards you. This is the game's way of telling you that you're on a time limit, that you have to kill everybody as quickly as you can before Natalia starts to... Well, well Natalia's progress depends on how many people you kill, right? The game will only progress as soon as everybody else is dead. So if you take too long doing that, there's a giant advancing wall of fire and it's just messy. Damn! What's wrong? There must be an override at the top of the tower. Take this. I'll be back. Now, Natalia, it is a gun. You are allowed to use it this time. Anyway, as soon as you're done here... Like, uh, right here I'm trying, I'm trying to show off that this is where the fire, the wall of fire would be. And it's really awful because it doesn't affect the bad guys, but it affects you. And in the upper right hand corner, if you haven't noticed, is a time limit now. You have to get to Trevelyan before that timer runs out. Jumping right down here, and to your left immediately is some more body armor. You're gonna need that really badly, and like I said, I was actually doing really well on this one. On my first run, I was already halfway down through my uh, actual health. Pretty bad. You're gonna need some ammo because as soon as you come through this wall, or this not this wall, this door, suddenly everybody's out to get you once again. And this section is really difficult for me because the lighting is not that great, and I can't see people. I should be keeping my eyes on the radar more often, but sometimes it doesn't always help. I should have meleeed this guy, but uh, eh, didn't think of it at the time. Now, as I was saying about the lighting being bad, pretty soon you're going to see me get shot by a guy, I think he's right behind me, yep, according to my radar. There, I'm getting shot at him right by him right now. Right there he is. Yeah, that went pretty bad. This uh, good run suddenly turned very sour. If at any point in 007 Classic you die, you will be given three. You will be given back three bars of health. That's a something of a mercy. Right here is more ammo. Another ammo crate, okay, rather, containing sniper rifles. And in hindsight, that might actually be decent for this upcoming section. Now you saw that correctly. Alec just shot sunlight at us. Now that is going to happen if you take the wrong path on your way down to this, con this uh, top tower, the main tower. The game absolutely wants you to take the correct pathway through these, through these walkways here. And if you take the wrong one, then the path is just going to fall down. And the whole time Alec is going to be shooting sunlight at you. It's kind of arbitrary, actually. It seems like an odd decision to make on this one level. Running dangerously low on health and on ammo, and... It was bound to happen eventually. So let's try this again. Now like I said before, the pathway is static. Well, I didn't say that before, but you know what I mean. The game absolutely wants you to take one pathway through these, through these, uh, whatever they are, walkways. And I am not very good at handling that one guy, or remembering that he's always going to be there. This level is just all around very bad for me. I'm just not very good at handling it. Lots of bullets, little health. According to my radar, not a lot of guys though. There's one guy right over there. Not dead yet. 
Now some of you might be seeing the resemblance of this one particular section to the lower part of the cradle in the GoldenEye 007 for the N64. You actually see a better view of this area later, and if you ask me, the resemblance is actually really strong. So good on the developers for that. As soon as you walk through this door though, the timer is over. Riveting gameplay decisions. If you like that fight against Xenia, then I sure hope you like that one. And it's not even over yet. Run out, right out this door, and there he goes. We better chase him. Don't want your villain to get away. And for some reason, there are signs pointing to the control room down here, and what looks like some kind of service tunnel. Where those signs probably shouldn't even be in the first place. Right over here, some more ammo crates. So you know something big's about to happen. At 40%. I'm not switching out my guns though, I'm just using the Kalos and the Stalker. Good guns if you ask me, and some more body armor. Walking through this door and we fight Trevelyan for real. James, how long did it take you to reach Dublin? The whole time, Trevelyan and Bond are going to be no way out, badgering each other through the entire fight. This fight is... Uh, I have some mixed reviews about it because what you can do for pretty much the entire time is just run up to him and punch him in the head like I am. There's no way out, Alec. But that is ridiculously slow. I'm just showing off that you can do it. It seems kind of silly. Like, he doesn't even try to fight back, he just runs over to the next one and reloads. It's over! Put down the gun! You don't even need to sprint to keep up with them. Struggling, James! Let me put you out of your misery. Eventually, though, I get bored, and I just decide to shoot him. Bullets will definitely take him out a lot faster than punching him. Even if he's on his recovery animation, you can still keep putting lead into him and it'll still hurt him. And you'll probably you'll pretty much want to do that because it'll take quite a while to kill him otherwise. And as soon as he gets past a certain point, he's gonna call him some backup. And that just adds more challenge to it, I suppose. And after a little while longer, uh, he calls in a helicopter to help him. So it's Pretty much you and literally his entire army, and you have a very finite amount of health. Finite. However you want to pronounce that word. But keep on shooting him. This fight is very short if you just keep on hammering into him, because eventually he'll just run away. You don't need to get him all the way down. Just shoot him enough into the red and he will turn around and run. That'll open up this. Just punch that button and on your way, on your way to the final confrontation. very final part of the final level of the game. And I, boy, I sure hope you love quick time events. Shut <laughs> 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 
England, James? No. For me. Here. Well done, 007. We've received confirmation that the GoldenEye satellite was destroyed, and we've been in touch with the Prime Minister and the Russian Ambassador about both Orumov and Trevelyan. I'd like a full and detailed report on my desk by Monday next, complete with all operational specifics and a full list of recommendations. Um, I've instructed Mr. Tanner to offer you his complete assistance. I, I think you're breaking up. Thank you. I could have done that myself.
Reflections on the water, more than darkness in the depths. See him surface and never a shadow. As a child, you'll never know how it feels to be the one who's left behind. You'll never know the days and nights, the tears, the tears I've cried. But now my time has come, and time, time is not.
And that was GoldenEye007 for the Nintendo Wii, folks. I hope you enjoyed this LP.